for me, it's a combination of a number of things. I feel elated, that's for sure. But it's more important because of the kind of work we've put in. You know, selecting the team, which is my main task here. Putting the team together, looking at all the previous tournaments that we have had, you know, internally and all of that. The selection process, being rigorous, being true to type. And then selecting a team that I thought was worthy of competing. And th that coming through to bring us the gold is a real, real, real fulfillment, frankly. I think this venue presents a number of benefits over our previous venues. And I think the entire golf industry, whole industry games happening in Abuja also presents a lot of benefits. Facilities are better, it's more centralized, it's easier to get around, much better logistics, much better, so, may, so much better planning. I think that's what we've benefited here. Can it be improved upon? Absolutely, yes. So we've had a meeting today, for example, where we've agreed on a few things for next time, 2026, and I think that it will be even better in 2026. This man is a serial winner. He's been our club champion back to back, two years in a row. He's been our multi medal champion, I can't count how many months in a row. He's been he's the number one, number one golfer in all of Shell, okay. Nigeria. Game Just so you know. Well, first of all, before I started playing golf, I started playing football. So I want to give a shout out to my football friends. Um, I really do appreciate the support they have given me, even though I'm playing a different sport. Now back to golf. Um, I'm a bit humbled. Um, my captain, he has used so many um, brilliant words to try and describe me. I'll say yes, I started golf, um, I picked up golf about three years ago and I think it's a, it's a sport that I should have even picked up much earlier. It's a sport that I think brings people together. It's a sport that really tells you a lot about life because your attitude on the golf course is a, is a real expression of who you are and how you are able to overcome challenges in life. So yes, I think golf is an excellent sport and I would encourage more and more people, even the young ones, to pick up the sport. I served in his committee, in his past committee, um, and I know the brilliant um, things he, he's, he's already put in place to ensure that the upcoming ones will uh, uh, participate. There's a, a, a President's Cup which will be, will be uh, hosting um, sometime next week, and also that also includes people who uh, uh, are encouraged to come and, and be part of the game. The first thing for me, the main principle is to make sure that we remove the bias that golf is an elitist sport. Not that it's not, there's not elitist components, but the point is that everybody actually can play golf. With the right kind of information, with that kind of access, everybody can play golf. And that's my message. And frankly, the ones that have more time to actually play the game properly are the ones that somehow have less wherewithal. So we have a program that's going to try and encourage that group of people who have less resources, but more interest, more athleticism, and more proficiency to play golf. And that's the, that's the brainchild behind the Niger Delta uh, the empowerment, Youth Empowerment Golf Initiative, which kicks off next week and will run for three years trying to promote people come, who are coming through who don't have the means but have the interest and the proficiency to play golf to a sustainably high level as professionals. Actually I have two trophies here. One is uh, the winner for the ladies, um, the winner of the, all the ladies I play today. Then one is the longest drive. Then the third um, trophy that I'm holding is for NNPC, the team we are the first runner up. We, can, we have silver. I came in contact with golf um, over 20 years ago, I would tell you, and I've enjoyed playing this golf uh, as a game. It's a beautiful game. It's a game that you can play for life. It's a game that you use your whole faculty, your senses, your walking. If you finish 18 holes, you would have done about 13,000 steps. And medically, they recommend you do 10,000 steps. And you're enjoying the fresh air in nature, and you're meeting people. So there's nothing like the networking that happens around golf. There's this um, wrong notion that golf is an expensive game. It actually isn't. So maybe not. It's just having the interest. Most of them wait so long. So I would tell the young ones, please come. Because most times people wait so long. I say, oh, when I retire, when I get to this age, I'll come and play golf. And when they start playing golf, they'll be like, I should have started playing this golf long ago. It's a wonderful game. This is a game, if you play tennis, it's a good one, but you cannot play tennis at 80. But you can play golf at 90. So it's a game you play for the rest of your life. This is long time coming. The last one was held in 2019. And that was just before the, peak, the start of um, COVID. Yes, that pandemic really did a lot. So this is the first time we're coming out of um, pandemic and no normal life is um, resuming. So it's really beautiful. And um, the organizers have done so well, so well. But there's nothing perfect in this world. So we'll keep improving as we go on, I would say. Nigerian, 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 industry games. It's been here for some time. 
and uh, it's a pleasure to fly the flag of an NPC Limited and to hold trophies today for an NPC. It's excellent. It's a good opportunity for all the oil and gas industry, uh, oil, oil and gas uh, companies to come together and fraternize and play golf and down to so at least one day and make sure that uh, we are energizing for today and tomorrow. I think the work has been already done and I know that there is awareness that is going on. Like the Honorable Minister uh, said, this will be now taken to the younger generation so that at least for golf, people will get to know that they can get involved, they can play, they can excel in golf and the future is so bright for Nigeria. Last edition was held in, in Lagos in 2019 and after that we've gone through a whole uh, pandemic, the COVID and boring from what we went through or I think this is a huge celebration, it's a huge celebration, celebration point for us to come together again. And we, I mean, we couldn't do this in 2020. We couldn't gather together. You couldn't interview me this close, but here we are, shaking hands and hugging. And it's, I, I don't think that we left any stone unturned or any table unturned. I feel really happy because it's my first uh, ever competition ever anywhere. <laughs> I, because I just, I'm a new golfer. I got my handicap in September, so I was just hoping to come and compete and enjoy myself. You see, I went home. I didn't know I won something. They had to call me to come back and, and pick up my prize. So I, I didn't, I didn't know I did that good. I knew I was getting better, but I didn't know I was that good. It's been really well organized. I like the organization, and it also helps that my office sponsored golf. Actually, yeah. So. We, I, I think it's it's good. It can only get better, you know. I don't, I personally, I don't think I've seen any laps that will make it uh, such a poorly organized. Yeah, but I think it's well organized. It's an expensive sport, but uh, with determination, you get to try to, you know, be in the game. It, it, it's not easy to be a golfer. It's not like playing football. You wear jersey and just carry football, but. Uh, there are second-hand items you can still buy, um, you know, you don't have to go for the high-end or the brand new to play golf. You can still do within your strength to, to play golf. I think golf is a game that helps, you know, your fitness. So it's not that strenuous, unlike other... I play tennis. I actually won bronze yesterday in tennis. So, yeah. So, the the level of exertion I have when I play tennis, I will play five hours of golf. I don't have it. I'm still very okay. With tennis, I want to sleep. I want to rest. I want to rest my legs. I'm in the sun. I had a grueling game yesterday in tennis. But here, it's not grueling. Just hit the ball. You continue working. So, I, I think I would like to encourage people, especially women, to get into these sports because... For us, our bodies doesn't carry us so much as men for a long time. So we, we kind of, you know, maybe because of childbirth, we reduce our activity and all the other things that we go through. So golf is a perfect spot for us to slow down and still stay fit. We we'll say welcome. I will actually tell every woman to come on board. For me, I just started. I just had done six days at the range. You know, it's a game you want to reckon with. You know, it's a game that has a lot of techniques and mechanism and a game of discipline and focus and eye on the ball. You know, so it's quite interesting. And this time around, I noticed that the women were so happy because this is the first ever that I made it compulsory that women must play and two, two from every industry. And we had 13 oil and gas industry here and you know having two two women they were they were excited they were so happy i saw them winning trophies and winning medals so it's a game that is not a game for just men it's a game for everyone so interesting because all these persons that you have mentioned their name are all golfers you know interacting with the minister he was like oh i'm gonna play golf i mean and you saw his tee off he was like a pro you know so it's encouraging it's for everyone to it's a game that gives you a lot of focus it gives you a total body exercise from head to toe because of your mental and your switch the way you swing around you know so it gives you that body total exercise so it's a game that uh, it's encouraging for everyone and anybody can play you come to the range you see children you see two years old you see 70 years old so it's a game that has no limit of age so it's a game for everyone to play